in today's video, we are going to be showcasing 10 insane NA dead use cases that you're 100% going to want to copy. Now I've been building out systems like this for about eight years, trying to automate everything in my life. And these are my absolute favorites from within NA den, all of the blueprints, all of the step-by-step -step tutorials, breaking down these particular workflows are going to be in the description down below. If you want to get into the nitty gritty details of building these out, whether you're working in a job, you're a student or you're an entrepreneur, I'm sure that these systems will help you out in one way or another. With that being said, let's dive into this right now. The first one is probably the most underrated automation out there, which is capturing new lead information. So let's say you run a business and somebody inquires on your website by filling out a form. Well, the thing is, is if you call that person within 60 seconds, you can increase your conversion rate by 391%. There's no automation that I'm aware of that will get you four times more sales by doing no extra work. And that only takes like five minutes to set up. And this is a Harvard review study that came out with these stats, by the way. First of all, I'm going to submit a form over here, okay, which is going to start this workflow. We're going to add that lead to Google Sheets. I'm going to schedule a call within 10 seconds, and I'm also going to notify myself as well in case I can't take that call right now, and maybe I want to call the person back. In On my phone, you can see that it's ringing, so I'm just going to pick up. Just inquired about your services. Please press any key on the keypad to connect into a call with Jono. Sweet. And so I could go ahead, I could connect into the call and it would patch me as the sales rep into a call with the client, just like you can see on my phone in front of me right now. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and talk to myself, but that's just exactly how this works. Something as simple as that could increase your sales by fourfold, okay? Cool, and so the next automation I wanna share with you guys is this cold LinkedIn and email outreach system. Here is essentially how it works. First of all, we're gonna find high quality prospects on a platform called Apollo, which is essentially a lead database, okay? You can find CEO sales executives at certain companies. And once we find all of these people here, what we're going to do is we're going to enrich data on their profile. And how we do that is through finding information about them on their own LinkedIn page. Once we have information like this, we can go towards making personalized outreach messages like this one here, where we can actually comment on things they've done in the past. And so what we're doing here for cold LinkedIn is we're using something called Phantom Buster, which will essentially, first of all, connect with people on LinkedIn and then send messages. And then we're using something called instantly for cold email outreach. And this is kind of what the templates look like. You can go ahead and split test multiple different variations until you find the winning formula. If you guys have to deal with prospecting and cold LinkedIn and cold email outreach, you know that this is such a game saver, game changer when it comes to saving time. Um, and yes, yeah, cause like something like this, you could spend hours every single day doing. Awesome. And so the next workflow is this red or retrieval augmented generation system inside NADEN. So in a nutshell, what we can do is we can communicate back and forth with customers. So for instance, somebody could say, hey, what's your company name? And this RAG system will say, our company's name is djang.ca. Is there any way I can help you? And so in a nutshell, what this does is it is kind of like an AI employee that is trained on the history of your company, all of your information, all your standard operating procedures, just like you would have to train an employee. And then it will go to work for you, replying to all of your customers, just like an employee would. So for instance, I could send off another message here that's going to come in in real time saying, hey, what services do you offer? And then this RAG system will automatically generate a response and send that back to your potential leads, which is awesome because you could do things like, for instance, booking appointments. So for, for example, it could say, are you interested in jumping on a call to chat about it, right? And so it can actually work towards a goal in mind, helping you jump on a call to close more deals. Now, the next automation that I want to talk about here is twofold. The first is how you can automatically find jobs online. So you know, obviously nobody likes applying for jobs. It, it's time consuming and it's kind of boring as well. And so with a workflow like this, what we're doing is every single day we're waiting until the morning and then we're going to use an RSS app, which is going to automatically pull out all of these job listings off of LinkedIn. And then once we get all of these job listings, as an example here, we're going to dump it into this Google sheet. And there's two main benefits to this. Number one is we're going to give every single job a rating here. 
here. And the reason why we're giving it a rating is so that let's say you find something that's like a two out of five. Maybe it's just not worth your time actually going after or pursuing that job. Maybe you only want to focus your time on things that are super aligned with you. So we can feed in your interests and then the job, and then we can determine using AI how relevant that job actually is to you. And we can also go ahead and generate cover letters specifically tailored to that job. And it can be based off of your own cover letter. So it can be tweaked and modified to, or sorry, based on your own resume. So it can be tweaked and modified to that particular job. Now, very similarly, we can do the exact same thing with Upwork as well. Now this, I believe only works in the United States, uh, jobs in the United States, but essentially if I was to search for AI automation jobs here, there's literally what, four, 5,000 jobs here. And there's also a lot of jobs that pay like $50 an hour USD or above, or even a thousand plus dollars per project. There's still about a thousand jobs here. And so what we could do with a system like this is that instead of having to go through every single one of these jobs one by one, which is obviously incredibly time consuming and boring, again, we could set up an automation that once every single day, we're going to scrape all of the jobs in our particular niche. Maybe you're looking for AI automation and we can dump that into a Google spreadsheet and again, give a score based on how aligned that job is with your interests so that you only focus your time on the things that actually matter to you. And also we can go ahead and create a cover letter as well so that we could apply to that job much more quickly. So then instead of you spending tons of time prospecting, you can just have an automation working in the background to get you pretty much most of the way there. You take the cover letter that you generated, you go over to the job, you click the apply button, submit, and then you're done. Now, the next automation that I want to talk about here is the ability to automatically create blog posts. So take this, for example, we can automatically generate blogs just like this. And the cool thing is, is that this is actually completely um styled too. So we can see that we have a nice looking title with color, and then we have an opening paragraph, and then we have a nice little picture here, which is all generated programmatically using AI. And then we have titles down here and bullet points with different text color as well, and then more pictures. And, and so it, it's pretty cool right off the bat. We can even have tables in here. This is all automatically generated using artificial intelligence. And so this kind of stuff, you know, can really speed up the development process process of your SEO, right? So if you're looking to rank on Google, you want to get more website visitors so that you can ultimately acquire more leads to get more money. This is a great option to doing that. Now, when I was actively doing this kind of stuff with my last business, I started at around 10 clicks every single day just before this graph actually started. I actually just can't go that far back. And then we actually got this up to approximately 1,500 clicks every single day. And we were doing this for quite a few websites at the same time. And so you can get pretty good results doing something just like this. And so essentially what we can do is take it one step further where we can automatically generate these blog posts. Okay. And we can have a human in the loop so that maybe we only create blogs on topics that you're actually interested in creating those topics on, and you're actually happy to publish. So we can go ahead and have a quality control here to create the blog posts. Okay. And then we have a link here so that we can publish it, make sure that we're happy with it. And then if we are, then we could go ahead and we can click this next button here, which is social media, which would automatically start the workflow here to publish that on social media. So we could take that exact blog post and then publish that like we can see in real time here on places like LinkedIn. Okay. And that way we can drive more traffic to your website. We can also generate social media posts to grow your brand on social as well. Cool. And we can do this with X. We can do this with TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you name it. All of this kind of stuff is possible. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about here is processing um, documents, specifically like receipts or invoices. So an invoice like this, or a receipt like this. We can automatically extract information from these line items. We can do so much with it. We can put it into Google Sheets, for instance. We could upload it to QuickBooks or we could upload it to Google Drive, whatever the case may be. So as an example here, I'm going to start this workflow and we're going to open up Telegram, which I have a picture of a receipt and I'm just saying, hey, pull out all the data from this image and then upload it into Google Sheets. And so in real time, what's going to happen here is this AI agent's going to fire off. It's going to process this image, and then it's going to send that data into Google Sheets in real time with all of the line items that we're going to be automatically pulling out of that particular image receipt. And so once that's done, it's going to be automatically placed inside this Google spreadsheet here. Sweet. And we can see it coming in in real time there. 
And yeah, we can do that for PDFs as well. Now, the, another cool use case would be if you don't want this to be a specific AI agent with Telegram, you could also do Gmail as well. You could just pull out receipts from Gmail and then do the same process as well. This is exactly what I'm doing with my accounting and uh, yeah, it just saves a lot of time. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about here is this system to automatically manage your Gmail account. So this is something I'm using every single day where essentially when emails come into my Gmail account, I can automatically label them to whatever category I want. Maybe promotion, social, personal, sales, recruitment, accounting, my calendar, all of that kind of stuff. And we can see the tags here happening in real time. We could even generate draft responses to these particular emails if you wanted. You could mark things as junk or you could forward this over to your accounting software, which is something that I do as well. So anytime I have accounting invoices coming through, I'll just send them over to Dext and then Dext will automatically upload them into QuickBooks. Cool. And so the next thing that I want to talk about here is just Google Sheets automations. This looks really, really simple, but it's super, super powerful stuff. So take, for example, my content pipeline here for, for social media content. I can turn a simple Google Sheet into an interactive dashboard where all of a sudden I can track progress over time. So I could have, for instance, a pipeline where it's like uh, it goes from idea to pending approval, schedule filmed, assets required, and all of these kind of things. And this can actually trigger entire workflows inside N8N. So all of a sudden I could send off notifications to my team being like, hey, this video was uploaded or we need to find assets for this video or whatever the case may be just by having an interactive Google Sheets dashboard. I can't tell you how game changing it is to like literally just turn this into like a mini web application. Another great use case for this would be hiring people. So let's say you go to indeed.com to publish a job and you just get overwhelmed by hundreds of people applying to it, you could automatically upload those people onto a particular Google Sheet like this, and then you could track the life cycle stage that they go through in the recruitment process. So for example, maybe they apply on Indeed, the first thing you wanna do is you want them to be onboarded, do like a quick onboarding form, send them additional information, you screen them. Maybe after that, if they pass the screening, you ask them to do a test. So if they're a blog writer, they can write a blog post. If they are um, a photo editor, they can edit photos, so on and so forth. You can schedule entire interviews, all of the email and communication back and forth and so on and so forth. So that's like another great use case for Google Sheets automations from within NADN. Now, the next workflow that I want to talk about here looks really complicated, but it's ultimately not as complicated as you might think. So what we're doing here is we're automatically sorting Google Drive. So let's say, for example, we have a file that came in and this file is the top questions that I get asked on my school community. So I documented all of these questions with with a workflow like this, what's going on here is that it can actually, first of all, detect which file this is. Maybe it's an image, maybe it's a video, maybe it's an audio file, maybe it's a Google Sheet doc, whatever. And then what we can do is we can read those exact documents. So I can download the document, turn it into a PDF file, extract text from the PDF file, and then understand what is actually going on and then intelligently sort everything in Google Drive. So instead of, for instance, we, instead of having like a super messy Google Drive like this where there's things everywhere, we can organize it so that everything's in place. And the benefit of doing that is of course, like we've all been there before, you're trying to find something for 20 minutes or an hour, you can't find it and it's something critical to you. And uh, with an organized drive, hopefully, you know, you can just find the assets that you need right away. Now, just as one follow-up on this, what you can also do in this given workflow here is we can store the results in Google Drive. So if anything, for whatever reason, isn't categorized exactly how you want it to, you can of course go locate it really simply and then change it if you need to. Now, the next thing that I wanna talk about here is scraping viral ideas or just scraping data in general from within NADN. So using a platform called Appify, you can get such large quantities of data on all of your favorite platforms, like for instance, Apollo for lead scraping or TikTok, Twitter, 
Instagram, Google Maps, or you can have other websites like LinkedIn or Facebook and so on and so forth. And so one great use case would be like, let's say you want to create social media content. One great option could be scraping places like YouTube or Instagram or TikTok or whatever the case may be. You can even rate the virality of how popular that particular video was, depending on the content creator that rate that created it. And then you can have a really good understanding every single day of what's working, what's not, and have just a full calendar in front of you. This obviously saves a lot of time because when you're producing a lot of content, it just becomes a numbers game and you just have to always find good ideas. This can really cut down that process for you. And so for that reason, this is a game changer as well. You could also find high quality leads through scraping places like Google Maps, for instance. So maybe you want to reach out to landscapers in Toronto. You can automatically pull out all of these listings here and then maybe even plug them into a cold email campaign. And so those are my top 10 best N8N automations. I hope you guys found value in this. If you guys did, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and also take a look at my school community here. The main purpose of this community is to obviously teach you guys these skills, but also have two transformations in here. So if you have an existing business, I can help you automate up to 80% of it by giving you the exact blueprints and templates that worked for me to scale to seven figures. And also for those of you who want to sell AI automation services to people, I'll give you the exact roadmap that allowed me to grow my own AI automation agency. With that being said, guys, thank you very much for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.